Hello friends, let's keep learning and Sepal with Dev Linux. In the last two videos, we covered the copy module as well as the file module. And in the last one, I gave you a small homework that uh, uh, how to copy an entire directory structure. And I, I advise you to do it on your own. If you have not done that, let's do it now. So we are going to use the Ansible ad hoc command. I'm going to copy something onto my remote uh, server, web server. And the module that we are going to use is the copy module. Arguments we want to specify slash where I have some logs in there. So we want to copy those logs. So let's say if I say um, message, uh, no, no. SA. So our logs are there. I want to copy that directory. We can cross verify ls panel slash where log slash SA. Okay, before doing that. So we have this directory present there and it has lots of logs present there. Other directory we can check. Okay, let's see if we have some files in httpd. Yes, some files are present even if the first two of them are just zero bytes long so empty files but the last one has some data in it and they are old ones okay so good we can we can use that example so ansible web server module copy arguments source is this directory destination is let's create one directory where we can copy these items into so let's give the name log log or logs logs better Okay, now we have this directory called logs. Good enough. So slash TMP slash logs. Let's hit enter and let's go to the remote host and see if we if we get any files. Of course, we should be getting some files but we want the directory httpd to be copied rather than its files only so we see that uh, the directory has been copied and of course its files are also getting copied and they have been copied very nice so this is how we can copy an entire directory okay one thing i want to highlight here is if we specify the forward slash here just we have a specified here here it doesn't matter because if the remote item is a directory contents will be copied inside it right now but here it is very important in the source if we specify forward slash after that directory name httpd then this directory httpd will not be created instead its contents will be copied we can we can do that exercise so let's remove this directory called httpd we don't have it now we have only this logs directory here we go and this time we put a forward slash there in the source and let's see but as i told you the difference it depends on what you want to achieve as per your business requirements or project requirements okay you see now that under the logs directory we see one file is there another file okay and by now we have all the three files there but not the directory itself the http directory but all its contents are present there okay there could be thousand of such files it doesn't matter really right so the thing is 
we are we, we need to know in advance what we want to do that's it we want the directory or not or just the contents you decide okay as per your uh, requirement now another thing that i can see here and it is bothering me is the time stamp you see all our latest ones june 14th and uh, past past 1 am right and we here notice that the source items were of uh, you know some they were of a past date right first june 11th june so ansible does not bother about preserving the original time stamps when copying files as you can see here and i have not seen any such settings available of course we can do this ansible dash doc and the module name you can this is offline facility you can search online as well and go through the documentation but i could not figure out any from what i can recall so there is this thing backup this can be helpful sometime as you can see here create a backup file including the timestamp information so you can get the original file back if you somehow clobbered it incorrectly so uh, this is not clear here but what i understand is on the uh, on the remote side where we are copying files if the files are already present uh, a backup can be created with this option and it accepts a boolean so yes no true false we can specify after it let's do that let's repeat the last command only with the backup parameter and set the value to true okay let's hit enter and see what happens on the other host taking some time okay nothing has been copied why idem potency so the files are already present the contents are also same so it is not going to touch the files again we have seen uh, those examples before also so manually we can do this this is an empty file so let's go inside that directory error log let's modify it error like that okay so we have some content in this file now of course in the access log let's do something like this whatever is out from the ls command let's save it there so now except the one of the files we have all the other two files we have updated with some contents now let's run this command again with the backup parameter set to true and see what happens so i'm going to watch this folder watch i went i went in one so you see this access file it has been copied there the source file as you can see and the original file that was present there which had other contents you know so it has been packed up <laughs> with uh, some time stamp and the same has been done with the error log file as well so you can include that backup parameter and set it to true by default it is false so uh, that what will happen you know now okay so your dest the files in the destination folder or on the destination servers they will be first uh, uh, copied with some time stamps as a backup so in case you think that uh, the newer files are wrong ones or they are not working as per your expectations 
or uh, as per their behavior right that there could be your application configuration files for example and uh, the new files mess up with your existing uh, configurations application behavior you can just go ahead and restore the original ones so that's a helpful feature i would say and uh, we can include this backup parameter when when we are not sure so this is done now that you know how to copy an entire directory and how to take backup of files with the similar names but different contents let's move on to some interesting topic just opposite of copy because copy what does what it does from the local server that is our ansible server we copy files onto the remote server now what if i want to download some file from the remote server to my ansible server that is local server there may be cases for example we perform some activity on remote server we create some logs there or reports there right and we want to download that report for example this is my web server so it must be having its own httpd logs if i have used the apache on that yes we have some logs there particularly this log file for example the latest one so i want to copy it or anything of that sort okay so this file from 11th june the error log we want to copy it to identify what errors were there so we want to collect it from all the hosts we have maybe or all the hosts which are running apache so web servers only now what we do here ansible specify the host group now module is fetch if you don't know about much about any module as you know we can use this command ansible doc and check what functionality it provides what options are there parameters are present what values you can set okay so as i told you that it works just like the copy module but in the reverse manner so it is used for fetching files from remote machines right you can go through these uh, uh, options destination so here destination becomes our local server examples are also present here as you can see store file into this path so source is this source is at the uh, remote site and this destination is on the local site but why it is uh, telling us that it will be something like host dot example etc why because if you are copying from let's say 10 servers and the same file you are copying from those 10 servers and you store uh, the file inside this uh, you know directory then this file will be overwritten to every time right so you will be having only one file <laughs> so what happens this fetch module or ansible will create a directory with the same name as the remote host name inside there it will create this path such as less tmp some file and then give you the file okay this path source so you know that from what server from what directory what file you have fetched you have copied so let's use it from my web server use a fetch module okay those examples are uh, uh, suitable when you write uh, a playbook we are going to run the ad hoc command here 
so source source means the destiny the the remote site so on the remote site we have this directory and the file that want to we want to copy is this apache error file okay now destination is on my local site so on my local site let's say slash tmp and that's it i don't specify anything else in there and let's hit the enter key and wait for a few seconds okay done very nice as you can see here now destination is under the slash tmp it has created this directory with the which is the host name okay uh, since i don't have a dns setup or local dns setup so the ip has been used here because that is the ip i'm using in my inventory file for the remote host and web is not the name of the host it is also it is the name of the group now this is the source thing which we specified here as you can see so if if we copied from multiple hosts under web server group then we would know how important it is otherwise if this thing does not exist this entire thing which i'm selecting then every time this file is copied from a different host it will be replaced okay that makes sense now you can explore this module on your own further and i think uh, we are good to go so i say tata to you tata good night